the middle surgery in terms of complications and pain would be a lumbar decompression without a fusion. And that surgery can be done for one level and I've done it all the way for five levels with the entire lumbar spine. We remove bone, we remove the spinous processes, we, and we remove the lamina at each segment and the thick ligament that lives between those. And then we undercut uh, where the nerve roots are um, and we undercut the joints. And by doing so, we free up the space available for the nerves. That surgery is great for your legs. It almost always diminishes or eliminates the pain down the legs, prevents further weakness, prevents further numbness, and probably your ability to walk is gonna be a lot better as far as the function of the nerves that go to your legs. You'll be more limited by pain from your back because the back surgery is a big deal. We take down a lot of muscle, that's painful. We do the surgery and we sew you all up, but it takes a while for that to heal up. Three to six months for the muscle pain and we'll add, you, know, you assuredly are going to be involved with physical therapy uh, as well. So we will improve and increase your ability to walk based upon your low back pain, but it's, it's a pretty big operation. That one also has the same risk of bleeding, infection, stroke, death, cerebral spinal fluid leak, nerve damage that can cause permanent numbness, tingling, weakness in your legs, and also the potential risk of you needing to have a fusion in the future.